first question I have for you is what inspired you to to do this film? I know it was discussed a, a little bit from what I had read, but can you you know talk about it a bit more? Yeah, you know the the power of heroic stories working in our life is really pretty amazing. I mean, we are we are not only surrounded by stories, but our entertainment is filled with heroic stories. Stories of men and women who do incredible things and overcome incredible odds and do great things and make a difference in the world. And, you know, Batman is a heroic character that in our contemporary society has been around as long as anybody has. He has endured, he has evolved, he has changed, but he's still with us. And, you know, Batman and Superman are perhaps two of our longest-running characters that are still with us. And so, you know, we wanted to make a film that shows how the power of heroic stories are working in our lives. And, you know, um, the beauty of Batman is because he's been around so long, you can really talk to multiple generations of people who've been inspired by this character from the time they were little kids, from the time they were very, very young. And so um, that was that was the impetus. And so to show how heroic stories are working today just as they were you know, thousands of years ago. That's the goal of Legends of the Night. Okay, all right. Uh, Well, jumping off of that, you know, I think you kind of talked about it a bit just now, but uh, what do you think it is about Batman's, the the character of Batman that holds true for, you know, so many people? Um, Do you think that it's it's the fact that he doesn't, that he has no powers of any sort, or do you think it's something deeper than that? You know, I think there's a great blend of Batman. I think it's three things. I think it is, as you said, it's the fact that he doesn't have any powers. There's something in that that makes us think, you know, he's human. You know, I could could be that. But the second thing is that he's broken. Mm. You know, and I don't mean physically. I mean emotionally, mentally. He's a broken character. And there's a level at which we can identify with that. There's a level at which all of us are a little broken. We're not perfect. We know it. We know we've got flaws, we've got weaknesses, and we know that we're not Superman. We wish we could be Superman, but we're not. We we wish we could be, but we're not. We're not that guy. I'm not that guy. I've got a darkness in me. I know it. And and everybody kind of on some level knows it. Sure. But the fact that Batman is is broken emotionally, he experiences pain, he is, you know... He is a a comic book character that has experienced more tragedy maybe than anybody else. His parents die. His partners die. You know, he, I mean, everybody, it's such a, he goes through so much. But the fact that in the midst of that, he still continues his mission, carries on, makes a difference in the world. I think we love that. And then the third thing is I think visually, we just love the iconic, romantic, gothic look of Batman crouched on top of a building with sure. his cape blowing in the wind you know like he's the Phantom of the Opera or Zorro or Robin Hood or you know some romantic vision mm. of a superhero okay. you know and I think those are the th- I think that's that's what connects us to Batman okay alright uh, so while we're on the subject of uh, of superheroes I wanted to also discuss with you the phenomenon of superheroes in general at least you know recently with, with you know, all the films that, that are out there now, uh, superhero films and people's fascination with superheroes, do you think that it's something that's uh, a fad or do you think that, you know, that this, you know, sudden influx of uh, superhero phenomenon that, that, that we're seeing, you know, recently is going to last? You know, I think um, we are living in a time when we're looking for hope. Mm-hmm. And we live in a world that's very cynical and um, where we, be- we you know, look at the news and the media is all around us and we just hear horrible stories about how terrible everything is and how sick we all are and how contaminated our water is and how our children are doomed to live horrible lives and the planet is going to explode from heat. And I'm not saying those things aren't legitimate but, and those concerns aren't legitimate, but we want to believe that that we're not out of control that there is something we can do that we have that that we are empowered to uh, make a difference and to correct things and to set things aright and to bring back paradises that may have been lost 
Sure. And I think there's a level at which superheroes represent that. And they represent um, a vision for who we could be. And I think at their purest level, every superhero is about that, is about the potential that we have, um, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, spiritually, to be better than we are today. And I think because of that, we're drawn to those characters right now. We really are. We really want that in our lives. And I don't know how long it'll continue. I know heroic stories will continue sure. for a long, long time. Sure. They always have. Sure. Whether superheroes will be our hero of choice, mm. uh, we'll see. And I, but I think in many ways, society determines that. Okay. All right. Well, um, in closing, uh, outside of, of, uh, of, of this film, are you, are you currently working on any other documentaries? And, and if so, is it going to be centered around anything kind of like in that superhero realm or is this kind of like a one-off you know thing you know right now i'm focused on one thing at a time okay. and uh and this movie is my focus right now gotcha. there are many things there are many things that stir in my mind but i'm, I'm going to be very interested to see what the response to this film is and how people react to it and uh, once i kind of get a sense of that 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 may determine some different directions so we'll i see. see gotcha all right well thank you so much for your time i appreciate it yeah my pleasure thank you